uh, I want to warn uh, this uh, this young girl at uh, Queen whatever nonsense. Uh, I'm telling you, you are a woman. You are a woman, and uh, I think you have got the zeal and everything. But please, not to clans on somba. Not to clans on somba. This is the problem. The problem with uh, some of uh, you people. Uh, especially you women, you provoke men. When uh, when men respond to you with the full measure or with equal measure, you start you start crying. No women, no woman. Hey, how can you say this about a woman? In Enderlanda, in Enderlanda and in and uh, you you will make me show you what you have never seen in yourself. You will make me show you what you have never seen in yourself. In age for ku kula tadi kana tadi kana na wana gashi kiri kiti kiri kiti ya ah ah ah. But not to go to tampo kula ntende kaka kiri kiti kiri kiti. Eh? Na ma lipstick kwa chini ndio wa chila la lady ruba ah ah. Behave, behave, behave. Not to kula nda eh piri kiti piri kiti wa mbogo nda pari na ah ah ah. And what you think you know, I know more. What you think you have started, I started it a long time. You don't, you know nothing. You know nothing, I can tell you. Eh? You know nothing. We are here ourselves with due respect to, I mean, I'm not, this is not, this is not about everybody in diaspora. Please excuse me. But you know, the foolish and the stupid people who are in diaspora are those who think that those of us who are sitting here don't know. How can you be so foolish to think that you are miles away and you know better than us who are here? Eh? I mean, this kind of foolishness, I don't know where it comes from. Eh? How do you think you are far away? If we are listening, we know. You, 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 I mean, please. Now, Papa, I not to create a good pantune and caponta, and the people will start saying, No, hey, no, as if you are not a leader, I didn't shower with a fair whoop with. Not to create a fair whoop with a good in like a rabbit dog. I don't want, don't bring that nonsense to me. Eh? If you are not being satisfied properly, find people that can do you, not me. Me, I don't do. I want to show you what you are. Ah, 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 Na papa to spare me. I'll come and talk nonsense. But anyway. So the, the, the problem is, which is there is that, which I, I always find is that when you say the truth, you are accused by one side. Here, today, na munji mina, awa ukuku side you. Eh? Those who are opposing, awa liku PF side. You are busy on me. Eh, na wakuri shamu. Eh, na wakuri shamu. Eh, you are not consistent. Because I'm not saying what you what what you are what you are saying. You want me to run with your narrative. How am I going to run with your narrative when I have got substantive information? I have got a person who brought those people. I was speaking to him, a person who brought those Egyptians into the country. So just because I'm not I you know you, I'm not saying what you are saying and you, you want to accuse me of being inconsistent. Come on. Get the truth for what it is. I, I would also love, you know, to say so many bad things about this government. I mean, for goodness sake, I am calling for early elections. I mean, if there is anything that I can find which is bad to make people upset to call for early elections, I would do that. I'm telling you, I would want, I would want to, at the moment for me, this government is not doing it for me. They are so wrong in so many ways. They have literally failed. The suffering that personally I'm going through and many other people is too much. And I'm saying this government should go. Let us call for any elections. That's what I was saying yesterday. Let us call for early elections. That is my agenda. I want to have an early election. I would rather 
have President Edgar Chagwalungu back into power is not the best, but I would rather have him than Bahaka in the Ichirema. Based on governance, that is my agenda. That is what I'm talking about. Now, this issue of this God has come up. So because I've got this agenda, then I should not, whatever I know, whatever I've found out, whatever I've been told, with evidence, I should ignore it. And I should continue saying, yes, yes, eh, this is God. It is God. Eh, come on, guys. Come on. I can't do that. My conscience cannot allow me. Ca my conscience cannot allow me. That is not the way I operate. That is not the way I operate. I want this government to go like yesterday. But I want them to go not on lies. I will not be part of those people that will fabricate things to implicate Haka in the Ichirema. No, Kumutanika for lies, no. Haka in the Ichirema, if I'm going to call him names, if I'm going to accuse him something, it will be something that I'm convinced about, not something that I'm not convinced about. And I want to tell you on this God issue, this God issue has got nothing to do with Haka in the Ichirema. Yes, the person that is uh, uh, the plane that was used, the person that uh, owns that plane has got relationship with Haka in the Ichirema. But it is nothing to do, it is not that Haka in the Ichirema was involved. No. Mwalampata, mwebalefu amumpate, I don't care. I don't care. But you are lying. You are lying, you are lying, you are lying, you are lying. Haka in the Ichirema is not involved. And I will tell you that the one, the person that brought those Egyptians, those Egyptians, is a South African. Is a South African. He knew about this God because he has got some God activities. He, he has got a mind and whatever, whatever. He does business here. And that's how he knew about this so-called God. And he went on an expedition to look for clients to come and buy this God, which has been in the country for a long time. And he managed to get those clients. They came in and through this friend who is also connected to, you know, who is who is known by, he just known. And I shouldn't even mention him because, yes, I shouldn't even mention Haka in the Ichirema because, look, they know each other. But Haka in the Ichirema knows this person. He runs an, an airline, airline company. There they is an airline company. I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to mention his name. But I'm sure uh, some of you will know him. So, and if those Egyptians came, it was supposed to be a transaction that was supposed to be done at the airport. Pa, those people, they give them God, they, then the, the other guys, they give them money. And the, this plane goes and the other one remains. That is how it was supposed to be done. Unfortunately, unfortunately, some people somewhere along the way, they, they, were, they were not, uh, they didn't get their share. And that is how they became whistleblowers and blew everything. Now, here is the situation which you have to understand. Now, about the issue of, of Kabusu, I can't confirm, that one I can't confirm whether indeed the God is God or it is fake. But yes, the possibility is very high that it is fake. Now let me explain, and in the form of Mungu we know because I've followed this story. I've spoken not to people about uh -uh, people that are involved in this business. The issue is that there is a, there is a lot of gold that comes from Congo into Zambia, uh, but the gold in Congo cannot be sold like in Dubai. They need documentations. To go and sell God in Dubai, where most of our God ends up, most of the God ends up in Dubai. Most of the God, it ends up in Dubai. Part of it, part of it, there is also, uh, what is this? North Korea. North Korea also buys God. North Korea also buys God. But remember, North Korea has got sanctions. So, usually when they are buying God, they buy it illegally. They use underhand methods to buy their gold to take to North Korea. But the gold that goes to Dubai, most of the times, they need documentation. But the gold that comes out of Congo, the gold that comes out of Congo, 
They cannot do documentations because they are under sanctions. So what they do, the Congolese, they bring the gold from Congo, they bring it into Zambia. They bring it into Zambia and work out the documentation so that it comes out like it is Zambian gold and then it is exported normally. So the gold from Congo is brought into Zambia and papers are done, then they, then they, they, they export the gold. Is this process starting today? No. The person that I was talking to has actually assured me to say almost every week there is a, there is a, 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 there is a private jet that carries gold into Dubai. So they, they bring the Congo, they bring the, the, the gold from Congo, bring it into Zambia, smuggle it into Zambia, smuggle it into Zambia, then process the papers and export it. And what I am, I am told is actually that there are these agents, there are people that are in Zambia who go and pick the Congo, who go and pick the, the gold from Congo and bring it into Zambia. Of course, there is also gold that comes out of Zambia. But this guy told me that Zambia at the moment doesn't have the capacity to process bulk gold. Uh, this year said at the moment the gold that we buy is not so much from Zambia it's from Congo because Zambia at the moment doesn't have the capacity to process that gold so mostly the gold that we buy which goes out of the international uh, KK International Airport comes from Congo that's where it comes from is this thing starting today this thing has been happening for a long time who are involved is it the politician it's not the politician. It's not the politician as the PF. It is not the politician as the UPND. It is basically uh, the, 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 the law enforcers. That, that is the Bapolisi, uh, ZRM, and some lawyers are actually mentioned. Some lawyers are actually mentioned. They are the ones that process the documentation. They process the documentation and the God goes out. And it goes out as gold from Zambia, and yet it is from Congo. So this has been happening. Now, what about this gold? So this gold, apparently, they say that it came from Congo. And it has been in the country, they said, for about two months ago. And they were looking for a buyer. And they started contacting different people. And so this guy in South Africa, this guy in South Africa managed to find managed to find a buyer. This buyer was going to buy it and then later on, they were supposed to take it to North Korea. Now, North Korea, like I've told you, North Korea, they don't need documentations. As long as these, the God lands into their country, that's it. So they don't need documentations for them. Now, when this guy found this guy, this guy is a, a, an Egyptian who was saying, okay, you can come and buy and then later on they can export it, they can take it uh, into into uh, North Korea. So when they were buying, then they thought, look, if we if we are taking it to North Korea, we don't need papers. We don't need papers. So why should we use these Zambian guys to process papers for us? You see? So they cut those guys who, who, who do papers. They cut them. And that is how they just said, we will just deal with the guys that are selling gold. We they will bring the gold, we will give them the money, we put them in our plane, and off we go. We don't need the papers. But remember, this gold came two months ago. So everybody in their business knew about this gold. Everybody in that whatever circles, they knew about this gold. So when these guys were moving, thinking that we don't need papers, we can cut these agents, we can Take the, the God. Unfortunately, those guys, they laid, they, they blew the, the alarms. And hence what happened at the international airport. It is not that it doesn't happen. This guy told me almost every week, God goes out. And he also said that some of it, uh, some planes even fly from different areas apart from the international airport apart from the international airport. So even other areas are used, other air, airships are used to fly gold out of Zambia. So it is a fact that yes, our uh, 
Congo gold and our gold as well has been flying out of Zambia using these illegal means. And mostly the people that are involved, it is basically just the people that are in ZRA, the people that equip Ministry of Mines and so on and so forth. So that is how that God we came to know about it is because they wanted to cut part of those guys who process papers. So they were like, come on, we we're supposed to make money out of this. And you want to just go like that? Forget it. To a live Polish deal. That's how they blew the deal. Now, this new development we are, where the minister has said uh, it is not good. I phoned my guy just now. I phoned my guy just now. Before, before even 20 hours, I even just cut my line to say, I need to go live. I phoned my guy. I said, now, have you heard what the minister is saying? The guy said, it is possible because sometimes uh, people are scammed. Whereby, because it is an exchange, even by airport. So they, sometimes they, they may have one, you know, one box, which is like real gold or, you know, and they quickly just give them to, to test the, uh, the one which is real gold. But the other one may not be God. So it is very possible. He even told me that uh, there is a guy that was scammed, I think about 28 million or so. Uh, there is a guy who was scammed about 28 million here in Zambia. He was scammed. Uh, I don't know if it is an Indian, but he mentioned, he told me that it, that is very high, uh, whereby sometimes you are cheated. So it is possible that these guys, because these guys um, who just came, I mean, they had not gone through all the, the God. They were just in the, in the, they had not even opened to start checking the God. They were receiving the money so that after receiving the money, they can check this God. Unfortunately, that is when everything went sour. So he's saying that there is a possibility that this God might have been fake. He's saying it is very possible, but it is also possible that it was genuine God. But that we can't tell because those Egyptians didn't test all the God. And even this guy, the South African guy, didn't test the God. So he's saying we can't tell on that, but it is very common that these guys come with fake God and they scam you. So it is possible that this could have been a scam. And basically, that is just the story as I've gotten it. I've gotten this story and this guy that I, I was talking to, he is the one that managed to bring those, those Egyptians so that they buy God and then later on they said they take it, they take it to North Korea. Unfortunately, the deal went sour. I was talking to him he had just landed in South Africa. There are some Congolese also who are involved, who have also run away. Some Congolese who have also run away. But there are Zambians who facilitate all this. He even mentioned some of the people that deal in this kind of things. But I'm not going to mention names um, just to give you this, this detail. This is what I've been told. If you have a better truth, you can also tell it. Don't start calling me names. Now I could shamu, now I could shamu. Tawandi shishemu na 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 ntuan kani na five hundred kwacha na chishtama bandos. There is a guy that sent me a five hundred kwacha. Kina miranga no kumiranga. There is a guy who sent me five hundred kwacha. I withdraw four hundred kwacha. Na chishtama bandos ya three hundred kwacha. I mean, I, I, I find it. I I but there is there is nothing more I can tell you. This is just what it is. And this guy, I was talking to him because they wanted to get a lawyer. In the morning, this guy talked to me because they wanted to get a lawyer. They wanted me to help them find a lawyer who can help, who can help them. And that is how I started talking to, to him. But, uh, I mean, I haven't managed to help them to find a lawyer. I don't know what they have done. In the, this evening, I was talking to him. He said, I've just landed um, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call you later. Or maybe I will call you to come to South Africa. But he has told me, I'll call you later. I'll give you the development uh, of, um, of everything. Uh, but let me first settle down. So that is the whole story. This is the person who was there, is part of it. He's the one that brought the Egyptians. In terms of politicians and whatever, whatever, the only person that is 
can be linked to politics is the owner of the plane but that plane was also just hired because this guy in south africa knows this guy who is the owner of the plane in terms of other whatever 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 he said no there is nothing like that so this is the story about kabuswe he said it is very possible because we didn't know now this is the story now hey, nami pela whether you take it if you have another story run your story in a, this is the story that i've given you and i've given it to you in truth not whatever 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 i have just given to you as it is the problem wa afi mufu afi eh na diamu eh na diamu ngana ranji la koba pf eh na uliamu ngana ranji la koba upnd eh na uliamu be pshiri wa aka inde bampere shinga na ndilo ndandi la koba pf bampere shinga in i just give you things as they are let us hold this government accountable for the wrong things that they are doing not if you have fit tampoco la be pesha a a it is not just right even about the money for example yes because some people are saying no the money was whatever 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 this guy has confirmed this guy has confirmed of course is not the one that had the money but this guy has confirmed that actually what they were buying the gold that they were supposed to buy it is about um, 5 million that's what he said he said it's about 5 million that's what they were supposed to to cash so even the money issue people because people are no it's more it's more uh -uh, the guy has confirmed he said the gold that was supposed to buy was about 5 million so those guys would not have much more than 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 what it is a story and if you are sure to marunda pomwebene I'm not even going to continue. This is a story that I have. It is not that I'm intelligent. Eh? It is not that I'm intelligent. It's not that I know everything. I'm just lucky that this guy called me in the morning. Tayari, can you help us find a lawyer quickly? Who can help us with this? I said, well, I can look around, but what is it? Then he started explaining, and he explained to me about all this. Of course, Nachia kukoti na fuma kukoti and we cont we spoke at lunch hour a little bit later on uh, kuma 14 hours we spoke after kusalanda we spoke nobody never just before 20 hours that's when i was asking him to say but so he's saying this he said it's highly possible because we don't know we this is very common na landa fiapo abale fo akutwa landa po fimbi na totero na anoku ya bye